Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to buy an NFT and make bank off of it. I'm kidding. What I'm going to show you is how to route audio from your RME interface into OBS Studio. Alright, let's jump right in. So what I have here is the RME Total Mix FX. This is basically the software that comes with almost any RME interface. Um, now I have a lot of little inputs here and things like that because I have the, the fire the Fireface UFX, but uh, if you have a different interface, you might have less, but the, the stuff I'll show you should apply to any RME interface that uses this Total Mix software. Um, all right, so what you want to do, first of all, is uh, figure out what channel you want to use as the input into OBS. So the one I chose is the AES channel down here. Uh, these are all of your outputs. So on the AES output, uh, what I want to do is make sure my PC audio and my microphone audio are going through. Uh, so you bring up the levels on my microphone. When I bring this down, you can hear better. Um, and this this first uh, analog one too is my main output, and that's what my PC audio comes through. Um, so. What you want to do is make sure the channels you want to hear are basically um, selected and the volumes up on them for this output that you're using. And then you want to enable loopback. So if I disable this, you'll start hearing that there's nothing coming through. Now there is something going through, right? So this will send the input, all these inputs, it'll combine them and send them back to this channel up here, the AES input, but no signal will show up, um, which is fine. That's just a bug in the software, or it might be a design choice. Um, but anyway, there's audio going through it, but the signal's not showing up here. Um, so in OBS, uh, let's say you might be, you know, if if you go into the settings here, go to audio, and then if you pick the AES channel, uh, now this won't work. Like this desktop audio too, you will hear nothing if you do it this way. Or if you pick, you know, I have several other RME uh, inputs here. So I have the, the ADAT 910 and the analog one too. And none of these work. Um, so like if you pick it in this menu here, you will not get any audio. What you have to do is simply go down here to your sources um, and just click the little plus button and then add an ASIO input capture. And here you can give it a name, Total Mix 2 for me, and then uh, you just pick the device. So uh, ASIO Matty Face is the, uh, the device for RME interfaces. So that's the one I pick. And then you'll see on the channel one and two, it has all the channels of the interface listed. So for stereo, I'll need to pick the first AES channel and then the second one and then uh, that's all that's required um, I might actually be doubling up the voices right now I don't even know if this is taking it into account but so yeah you might be hearing twice as many <laughs> things but uh so I might have to mute this um, I'll just delete it yeah, but that's all you have to do, and uh, and you'll get audio into OBS, and you can start streaming or recording your videos, whatever you want to do. All right, hope this was useful. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And don't ask what happened to my neck. It looks like my head's attached separately to my body, but that's not the case. Oh!